y'all hey, this is Dina welcome to my channel okay so I have been cleaning all last night me and the Hallmark Channel Hallmark Channel is still going y'all Christmas in July and I cleaned last night I finished it up this afternoon if you were in my craft group I did share a picture saying what are you doing last night but I was cleaning my craft room the floor was totally covered with stuff and I literally cleaned out so much stuff I'm gonna insert a picture here of actually what it looked like anyway yeah check it out yeah it was a mess y'all it really was okay so and we do all kinds of videos showing what's in our craft room or how we organize I thought, you know what, I'm going to be brave, and I'm going to show you my closet. So here we go. Hopefully I don't go out of frame ever on this. I'll try to do good. But y'all, this is my craft closet. It may look like you don't know what's going on in there. But you know what, I know where everything is. Yeah, let's just start at the top, okay? I'm going to start over here. I'm not going to pull everything out. But up here I keep my Cricut. And I have some notebooks at the very top of what I've been working on. I have an extra glue gun and glue sticks there. This actually I stuck it here as my Cricut Joy Box. And I just didn't want to get rid of it yet. So anyway, the top um, right here. I had the, got these in a grab bag at, at uh, Michael's. They were $4 for tons of stuff. And these are full of wonderful cardstock. And even though it's invitation kits, I may have a hard to get rid of it. So I'll save it for a rainy day. This basket right here is just kind of full of stuff that I didn't know what to do with. And I've got some batting up there. This right here is all full of shred. You can kind of see it poking out the top there. Keep my tissue paper here at the top. And here I've got birthday stuff tool and bags all of this thing I used to keep that on the floor but I stuck it up on the top and it worked out wonderfully over here I just have like just some random things that I didn't know what to do with so I stuck them here and this bin right here is all kinds of like Christmas stuff that I've saved over the years up at the top is my coveted box of bows my bucket of bows up there I always love having my bows so, yes, you're going to say, how do you get it down? Well, I will have to take this style, this right here, down if I want to get more bows. But I took out what I needed before I stored it up there. Working my way down. I have some Traveler Notebook kits in the back. This is Christmas ribbon. This, this came like in a grab bag. This one I bought at Hobby Lobby. Got some empty little bins here. Um, over here, as you see full of yarn. Yarn, eyelash trim, all kinds of stuff like that. And going down over here, I keep all my records for my record player and I have an album over there. This right here is just kind of full of just stuff that I don't normally use but I don't want to get rid of. I've got some wooden things over here that I need to paint. Down here at the bottom I keep my toolbox. And I had been looking for my for my embroidery thread, and I knew I always kept it in this bin. And look, finally found it. Now I know exactly where it's at. This part I'm really proud with because I literally found all my cards and envelopes. Look at this. I have all kinds of different sizes. Yeah, different cut sizes. There's some bags and cards and envelopes back here. I know it's dark, but yeah, they're back there. Got all kinds of more up here. I have some of the chalkboard signs that I can work on. Thank you cards. All kinds of stuff. Got all kinds of my pipe cleaners. All kinds of a different kind of cards. Yeah, I know where everything is there now. Now here in the center, I always keep all my wear and memory keeper stuff in here. And I always have it on the floor. Well, now I'm able just to stick it in the middle of this, of my shelves. And, um, like I keep my extra trimmers and just keep
keep all, all my weird memory keepers, all my punches, and you know, different things like that. And I usually keep all my stuff in the, in the packages that they came in, unless I use it a lot. Down here, I just have ephemeras and cut-aparts and things like that that I've saved, and I figure if I put it there, I'm more likely to use them because they're accessible to me. I have my extra scoreboard there in the bottom. I'm not going to pull that all the way out. But as you see peeking through there, I have um, fabric. Fabric, fabric, fabric. And here, I've got more fabric. As you see how I've got them stored, I store them like on these. They're like, um, like a really thin chipboard. And I just wrap it and make it look like a little bolt. And you're able to store so much like that. Now, yeah, I've got some folded here stacked in the back. I do have some more, like, looking like little bolts. But I ran out of the little card stuff, so I just folded it, try to get it in here as neatly as I can. I've got some more. Got some more up there. More fabric there. Up here on the top, I have my cinch machine. And I just keep some little jars. And these are all just random things over here. And I keep like my wreath forms and stuff just stuck up in here. I can get to it if I need to. But yeah, this is my craft closet. Now, over here on the door, I've had this here for years, probably several years. And I bought this. It's a shoe bag holder. It holds your shoes. But I use it to hold my punches. And I always know where my punches are because I always make sure to put them back right over here. So it really has come in handy having this. It's been a real, real plus having this. I got it at Walmart, I believe, several years ago. It was probably less than 10 bucks. Best money I ever spent because now I'm able to always find them and plus they don't get broken. So anyway, so that is my craft closet. I'm going to shut this. Um, I've showed you guys my craft room before, but um, I'll, sh I'll just kind of glance around. It's not totally organized, but here we go. As you know, I have these shelves that I got, or these drawers I got. Um, these are the Alex drawers I got from Ikea. And I'm not going to open all of them, but I keep like my acetates and things like that up here. Got to keep bags and some stickers up here. Pins. This right here, I just started this drawer. It's just stickers and just different, like, ephemeras and stuff. Oh, this one got stuck. This, I've got some papers and stuff in here. I've got paper stashed everywhere. This is, like, um, planner stuff. Ribbon. And the other two are ribbon as well. Got wooden dowels and all kinds of wooden stuff. This is where I keep like my litter board stuff. Oh, got some flamingo tags, rubber stamps, project life cards, uh, washi, washi, washi. I don't use it that much, so I kind of quit buying it. Um, Right here, I got my, my clear bags. This one's kind of messy right here. I've been in that drawer. Let's see if I can pull out this one. I keep my vinyls. Vinyls. So I've got three, three drawers of vinyls. At the top is just things I'm working on, plus my array of uh, flows. Hello, flow. Here at the top, I just have paper clips. I keep my big shots sitting right up here at the top. This is my ink drawer, dies and stamps, my binding for the cinch, got some flowers, got some eyelids and different things in here, brads, and I got my buttons and bells and different things, clothes pins. Clear bags, straws, and pencils. Okay, so as a top over here, I showed you the ink, dies and stamps. 
plastic down. I got glitter things, stickers. These are here. Then I got just got from the birthday swap. I love them. Or actually, not the birthday swap. I got them from Cosmo Lady, Cosmo Crafty Lady. Love those. Can't wait to use those. More stickers and different kind of things. Bling and more embellishments. got stickers I do keep my little rolling card over here and like keep things that I use frequently on here and this is not totally clean but I've been working it's clean than it was before <laughs> so anyways this is things that I'm just working on and so forth Christmas and the albums that I'm making for my siblings I keep my little ironing board and my iron over here I haven't sewed this week but I'm gonna get back in it Got my sewing machine over here in these drawers. I keep all my sewing stuff. So this is everything I do with my sewing machine. And yes, see that elastic? I stocked up when I found a sale or when I found it in stock. And over here, I'm not gonna open up all those, but I keep all my adhesives and you know, just random things. This is my tape drawer, as you see. So yeah, anyway, this is my craft room, but I really wanted to show you, you know, my closet. Got my crickets over here. I'm still working on trying to clean out some more stuff. Y'all, I clean out stuff out of my closet that I've had so long. Yeah, it's crazy. This is all my paper, paper, got my radio, my record player, paper. Oh my goodness, and this right here has to be organized. It's all like six by six and six by eight. And this is all paper paper so yeah anyway this is my craft room yeah and this my friends is my craft closet yeah I'm really proud of how it turned out you know I hope you saw the picture in the beginning of before because let me tell you, it was a mess. And my husband, when I came here last night, something was falling. He goes, are you okay in there? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just cleaning the closet. He didn't say another word. He knew. He knew. But, yep, here it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I have a question for you. What's inside your craft closet? Do you watch Hallmark Channel while you're um, doing your crafts? Yeah, what do you do? Anyway, I'm tired, y'all. I'm going to sit here and try to do a little bit of crafting, and then I'm just going to relax. I'm working from home this week, so I'm pretty excited about that, and um, yeah, I'm glad this is looking better. Anyway, have a great night. Loving each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.